Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to show you a project called Private GPT. Private GPT is a GPT large language model that is installed locally on your PC. It allows you to ingest your own documents. You can then ask questions and interrogate these documents. Private GPT can ingest the following file types. This includes docs we use daily like emails, Word documents, CSVs and PDFs. It's totally offline. You can use different large language models on it. It works solely on a CPU, so you don't need an expensive graphics card, and it requires no API keys. In this example, I've ingested the children's book Pinocchio, and I'm asking the system, does Pinocchio's nose grow longer when he tells lies? And you can see, here it clearly answers the question. Yes, it does, and it will further substantiate that with references out of the text. In the next example, I've stepped it up a bit from a children's book. I've ingested the King 4 report on corporate governance. And I'm asking the system, corporate governance is defined as. Let's submit that and see what it returns. And here you can see, um, it answers the definition of corporate governance. And it points me to corporate governance is defined as the governing body trying to achieve an ethical culture, good performance, effective controls and legitimacy. If you want to start chatting to your own documents, I'll quickly show you how to get private GPT working on your own Windows PC. First, let's download all the required software to build private GPT. We'll need Git. Let's get over to the Git for Windows website and download the Windows installer. Next, go to Python, download the latest version. Then, we'll need Anaconda to run this in a private environment. Head over to the Anaconda website and download the installer. And then lastly, let's download the Visual Studio Community Edition. You can install Git, accept all the defaults. Then, install Python. And when the installer launches, make sure to select this checkbox to add Python to your path. Then install Anaconda and you can accept all the defaults. Lastly, install Visual Studio Community Edition. And when the installer launches, make sure that you select these two checkboxes. The one is for the Universal Windows Platform Development. And the other one is for the desktop development on C++. And now that we installed all the required software, it might not be a bad idea to cycle power and reboot Windows so everything starts fresh and clean. Now let's clone and configure private GPT. First thing you want to do is open up an Anaconda prompt in admin mode. Now navigate somewhere on your drive and create a project folder where we can clone private GPT into. In my case, I'm creating a folder called pgpt. Enter the folder that you just created. Execute python space dash dash version and confirm the version of python that you're running on your PC. We'll use conda to create a separate environment where we can run private gpt in. Execute the following command. conda space create space dash n space private gpt space your python ver version that you're running. To activate this environment, execute conda space activate space private gpt. And if your environment successfully activated, you should see it at the bottom left hand corner. Now it's time to clone the private gpt repo. Head over to the github page and click on this green code button and copy the link specified. Make sure you are on the folder you created for your private gpt project and execute git space clone and paste the URL we copied earlier. And take notice when you clone the repo, it will create a subfolder called private GPT. Enter that folder. We are now ready to install private GPT. Execute the following command. pip3 space install space dash r space requirements.txt. Check the screen, make sure that you get no errors. You'll now need to decide what model you want to use with private GPT. It ships with GPT for all, which is nice and small, and I've had very good results with it. If you want to use that, go ahead and download that off the GitHub page. Private GPT also works fine on large language models like the Vicuña model, which is a 13 billion parameter model. 
If you want to use that model, go ahead and download it from the Hugging Face website. After you downloaded the selected model you want to use, open your Windows Explorer, go into your private GPT folder and create a folder called Models. Enter your Models folder and paste the model you downloaded in this folder. Navigate back to your private GPT folder and you want to look for a file called example.env. We want to rename that to just .env. Right click the .env file and open it up in your favorite editor. And here we can see the configuration that private GPT is going to start up with. I'm using the default model so you can see it's using the model type GPT for all and it's correctly displaying my model path and model name. If you were using something like the Vicuña 13 billion parameter model, you would just change the model type to Llama CPP and accordingly fill in the correct model name. Before you fire up private GPT, head over to your working directory and into the source documents directory. Let's feed it some data that we can play with. You'll sh see that it ships with a sample file. I'm going to go ahead and add the King4 report and Pinocchio to this folder. Open your Anaconda prompt and execute the following command to ingest the data we just added to the source documents. Execute python space ingest.py. Now that all our documents are ingested, we can launch private GPT. Execute python space private GPT.py and private GPT started up successfully. I can now enter my first prompt and I'm going to ask it for the definition of good corporate governance as defined by King4. And private GPT has now interrogated the King4 report and it's returned the definition of good corporate governance. And it's saying that it's leadership trying to install an ethical culture, good performance, effective control and legitimacy. And here we can verify that in the original King 4 report. Let's pivot back to Pinocchio and I'm going to ask it, does Pinocchio's nose grow longer when he tells lies? And here you can see, yes, Pinocchio's nose does grow longer when he tells lies. You should now be able to import your own documents and play with private GPT. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you found any value, please consider liking and subscribing and follow our channel.